Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing volume three of Comey Can't Communicate. I read this in the ebook format. This is what the cover looks like and let's dive in. So I've been reading Comey Can't Communicate on the recommendation of several people and I've been really enjoying the series so far. I had actually read the first couple volumes before but volume three was the first one that I hadn't read before so it was entirely new and I was looking forward to reading it and seeing what it was all about. Comey Can't Communicate follows a girl, Comey, who has a communication disorder. She has struggles speak she has struggles. She struggles speaking to other people and doesn't really enjoy talking, but everyone at her school has interpreted this to be aloofness and coolness so she's actually kind of treated like a god slash princess but she really just wants to make friends and Tadano one of her classmates understands that and recognizes that in her and reaches out to be her friend and she he becomes Comey's first friend and now Comey is on a mission to make 100 friends. I think this is a super sweet volume and a super sweet series. It's definitely a character driven series. The plot's pretty simple just make 100 friends but the characters are what really makes this special. So the characters are continuing to grow and deepen in Volume 3. The, the big event in Volume 3 is going to a festival. Comey wants to go to a festival and she's finally starting to be able to do these things because she's reached out of her comfort zone and, and she has Tadano. We're starting to meet more people and she's starting to make more friends but the core friends are the ones that she made in like volumes one and two which would be Najimi and Tadano and her and I think they are my favorite so far. I think one of the reasons they're my favorite is just because of time. We've seen them for now three volumes and as these other characters stay in the volumes for longer and longer they're going to become more integral parts of the story and therefore be more interesting. But so far, Najimi and Tadano are still my favorites. There is another one that I think is going to be really funny. It's this girl. She actually is located on the cover right here. She's kind of going through a phase. She always talks about like darkness and wrath and she's just a really interesting slash weird character. But I kind of really relate to her. She almost reminds me of the main character in No Matter How I Look at It, It's You Guys Fault Not Popular. Not entirely. There are differences. But always just like that socially awkward going through a phase that we all went through. And Tadano is super embarrassed because he went through a phase in middle school. So it's kind of reminding him of that time. And Tadano's trying to be super ordinary in high school. And this girl is just out there having her moment, having her thing. But I feel like we can all relate to that. We all remember going through whatever phase we went through or we know people who went through whatever phase they went through and it's just a relatable part of growing up and being human so I think it's very sweet and enjoyable and I like that they included her in it so I think I'm blanking on her name I just remember her as the girl who's going through her phase but uh I think she could play a really fun part in the next couple of volumes and I'm looking forward to see how she is going or how the author is going to take this series forward now Comey and Tadano definitely have like a thing going on like they both are starting to get feelings for each other I think that's my reading into this series so I'm excited to see where that goes because I'm really excited for that and I think it's super cute and I want to know where this relationship goes so I will keep reading I'm really hoping to get the physical volumes I'm trying to find the physical volumes but so far I've been relegated to the ebook volumes so we're working on it I prefer reading my manga in print so we'll see what we can do if you have any thoughts on volume three I would love to hear it other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.